Okay, let's start our lab. Today we will learn a uh, disk partition. Before we can uh, create file systems on a disk and install operating system programs, save files, the first uh, task we need to partition the disk. We have three objectives. Practice on two popular drill partition schemes. MBR is an older scheme. GPT is a modern popular scheme and be able to describe MBR and GPT. And uh, lots of references they are put here, so you can check what's disk partition, MBR, GPT, and also the Apple partition map. If you want, you can check this uh, Apple partition map, but uh, we will not discuss Apple partition uh, map. And be able to analyze MBR and GPT manually. How could we? We we need a knowledge about uh, MPR and GPT. Then we will be able to analyze them manually with the command line tools or hex uh, editors. So here you see the rubrics. Totally, we have four subtasks. The first one, use DD command to create two disk uh, disk images, each of size 500 megabytes and filled with zero. Certainly we can fill with uh, any random numbers, but that will not be helpful for us to learn how to partition the disk. So it's bad, better fit, fill them all with zero. Task two, use low setup to mount these two disk images to two loop devices. As we demonstrated during the lecture, certainly you can uh, Check this reference, how to use loop devices. This one demonstrates how to use low setup to mount disk images to loop devices. Then the two, the other two major subtasks. The first uh, uh, task three, use gported, the GUI version, partition tool to partition the first image into four partitions. Unmount the image, then you explore the partitions with sluice kit, image file tools, and volume system tools. The second one, mount the image with a low setup, explore the partitions with the WX hex editor or any other hex editor. This WX hex editor is uh, provided here. So you need to use this, download the w, uh, WX header, hex editor from here, then and extract it as I demonstrated during the lecture. Task four, use F disk to partition the second image into file partition. F disk is command line partition tool, I think uh, some of you have learned the F disk in 372. So you can just reveal how to use F disk to partition these uh, images. I don't remember, maybe you practice one in one set file. Use F disk. And unmount the image, explore the partitions with through kit image file tools and volume system tools. So they're, they're the same, just as a partition tool with one with a GUI partition tool, the other one with a command line partition tool. Then you mount the image with a low setup, you export the partitions with the WX hex editor. Actually, we export them with double hex editor, which means we analyze them manually. And these tools, it will extract those information for us. Okay, let's start the first one. Before that, we, we would like to create a folder to contain all the materials we need today. So I go to this uh, document. Oops, my machine uh, frozen. I need to wait a little bit. It is four file two. Today uh, we will lab zero two. And uh, your tools, you downloaded should 
if you didn't download, you need to download it again. WX Hack Editor. Yeah, top seven J from from uh, course website. WX Hack Editor. How do you come to this place? Go to module zero two. Here, module zero two. You scroll down. Find that uh, WX hex editor here. Go inside, then you come to this place. Download it. Then extract the one. Here I extract here. Just see I have built here. This is a program we need. I will leave it here and uh, right click this home folder, my home folder, open a new tab. Then come to uh, today's lab, lab zero two. Task, uh, subtask one, use dd command to create two disk images, each of this size and a field with zero. I demonstrated it during the lecture. Here is the reference that we can use to help us to create uh, Images here you can see there are some examples. So we right click in the empty space of lab 02, open a terminal window. Now we create two images. DD input file is a dev zero device, del zero. Then the output file uh, is an image, so that's called an image one and image two. Image one. And uh, the block size, let's just use a 100 megabytes. Block size equal 100 meg megabytes. So totally we will need uh, how many block file. File, we get file 100 megabytes equals five. You can also use status to show the progress equals progress. This is quite fast. Okay, here you see a 500 megabytes copied. If you check its uh, size, you see it's a file two four two eight eight zero zero zero. As we discussed the megabytes, kilobytes, they use a binary prefix. 1K is a 1024. This is the first image. So the second image, you just run this command, change this image name from image one to image two. Okay, now we have two images under our folder. So we completed a Subtask one. So you can check this uh, help to get more information about this DD command, how to use it. Now the second uh, task two, task two, uh, use slow setup to mount these two disk images to two loop devices. Again, you can check these uh, references here, loop device, how to use loop devices. Very Open here. Actually, in the class, I used this uh, reference to demonstrate how to mount them on loop devices. First, uh, we can find all the list all the loop device. Low setup dash dash uh, list. So you can see currently I have uh, six uh, loop devices. So the next would be a loop uh, six, the next available name for the loop device. So we can use sudo low setup. Your system may be a little bit different, it's okay. Low setup, let's use a direct IO equals on. Usually I don't like it, this we are decrease our performance. No setup. Now we use that uh, find 
no overlap. And the mount our uh, first image, image one. Type a login password. Overlap invalid argument, so it's uh, no overlap. No, I need a dash dash. I just uh, put a single dash. So, all right, it's done. Now, low setup, mount the second image. Then we can list all these uh, images here. You can check uh, my image one is uh, mounted to loop device six, and image two is uh, mounted to loop device seven. So we complete subtask uh, two. Now, task uh, three, the first one, use G partition to partition the first image into four partitions. As we uh, demonstrated during the class, when we use gparted here, those uh, loop device actually they do not show up here. Right? It, uh, they do not show up here. So we need another method to close this one. As I also demonstrated during the lecture, we run it from the command line, g Parted, then followed by the device. Loop six is for image one, but yours may be a different, so you need to check. Check where they are. Use low setup dash dash list. So do G parted device loop six. Okay, now you see uh, this device is. Uh, is unallocated, just like you install a new computer when you buy a new disk. Usually it's uh, show up like this, unallocated. Then you need to create partitions on this empty disk. So partition into four partitions. Now, there are actually there are two types of partition. Okay, I missed, uh, I didn't type something here. The first type partition, uh, those partitions, they are saved in partition table. And we will learn there are two partition tables as we just discussed here. One is MBR, the second one is GPT. So task three for MBR, task four for GPT. So I, I will revise here later. Now, how do we create a partition table? On this device, you can see create a partition table. Let's have a look about this GUI version, how to use it. Here you choose the device. Gparted, you can see re refresh devices and the de device list here, just uh, this one show up. Oh, this is done. And in this uh, editor, currently is graded out to device information, pending operation, file system support. You can check the Information show up here, file 100 megabytes on this uh, loop six, right? Now you see it's con converted to this uh, C, this, uh, this CHS, right? Had a sector cylinders and total number of sectors 1024. Do you see 1024? 1K, another 000, so it's a little bit. Of Mess it up, it should be 1024 times 1024. Anyway, now the sector size is a file 112. So the unit is a sector or disk. When they read write, they read write in sector size. So 512 bytes. So the unit is a byte. And when we partition this uh, disk, the boundary is a sector, so which means the minimum unit is a sector. A sector one, sector two actually start from sector zero when we use a LBA, the logic block address, as we discussed during the lecture. Using LBA linear address, so that's simple. You just 
index them, sector zero, sector one, sector two, sector three, and so on, until the last uh, sector. So what's the last sector? The last sector would be this number minus one, right? Because we start from zero. And we can also share the file system support. Pending operations, which means when you, when you create lots of operations on this uh, M disk, you will see uh, pending operations. Just like you click the batch, lots of uh, operations, then you click apply or operations, then they will execute those opera pending operations for you. So let's see the file system support. You can see all these file system support. ex 2 ex 3 x 4 and we will learn this file system uh, next week. Next week, maybe. Uh, here you can see uh, the famous file system NTFS for Windows and uh, this uh, FAT 16 FAT Z2 for both Windows and Linux. Linux mainly use uh, ext4 currently. The old version ext2, ext3, and some other news file system ext4, and uh, you can see HFS high performance file system for other operating systems. So oh, these are the supported file system, and uh, you can see the operation. Create, grow, shrink, move, copy, check, and so on. We will learn later. Here the device partition, then you can create new partition. You can see there are some other operations. New, delete, resize, copy, paste, and so on. You can find more help from this help menu of contents. First, we would like to create a partition table. The partition table you see here, there are lots of partition table. And the partition table we will create for task three is this MS DOS. This one is a MBR. And a GPT for task four, a GPT. I will use MS DOS for task three. And apply. Now, partition table is uh, is uh, created. Okay, we would like to check what does disk partition mean and what does uh, MPR mean, GPT mean. We we need some basic knowledge. So open this uh, disk partition. Here you can see an image about those uh, partitions. It's just an example as we just. Uh, showed up with we use partition to show up our local disk right when we type this uh, g partition it looks like it's just one, one instance it's okay we will see something similar to this one later currently we want to have learn some knowledge about uh, partitions Disk partition or disk slicing is the creation of one or more regions or partitions on secondary storage. Secondary storage means the hard disk, guys. So we learned uh, during the lecture there are several levels of computer storages. They are hierarchical. So that each region can be managed separately. These regions are called partitions. And it's typically the first step of preparing a newly installed disk before any file system is created. The disk stores the information about the partition's locations and the sizes in area known as the partition table, as we just created one partition table. This partition table contains the information about each partition's location and size. That the operating system reads before any other part of the disk. So this one is read first to determine where are those partitions. Each partition then appears to the operating system as a distinct logical disk that uses part of the actual disk. Just as in your Windows, you, you will see partition C, partition D, 
actually they, they are partitions, not drive C, drive D, drive E. They are not drives, they are partitions. So you see, we know that there are lots of uh, misnomers. And the system administrators use a program called a partition editor, as we use Gpart to create, resize, delete, manipulate partitions, partition, partitioning allows the use of different file system to be uh, installed for different kinds of files for Windows or for Linux. You see there are tens or twenties of those file system as we just saw. And uh, separating user data from system data can prevent the system partition from becoming full and rendering the system unusable. Usually this is for the old days today, we use one partition. And uh, partitioning can also make backing up easier. So if you have same system partition, user partition, then you can back up your user data, only back up your user partition. A disadvantage is that it can be difficult to properly size partitions. You don't know how much you need, how much the system need. And then resulting in having one partition with much free space and another nearly totally allocated. This happened uh, quite frequently. No, during those old days, when people like to partition their system into uh, several partitions. Now the partition types and the partition schemes. Partition types. The master boot record MBR partitioning scheme, as we just practiced, as used historically in DOS, Microsoft Windows, and Linux. That's, that's why it's called MS DOS because uh, we know Microsoft dominate the personal computers industry. On PC compatible uh, computer systems, as of the mid 2010, most of the new computers use the GUID partition table or simply GPT partitioning scheme instead. For examples of other partitioning schemes, see the general article on partition tables. So you can check those partition tables. As we already see here, there are lots of partition tables, right? To create partition tables, you can see there are so many partition tables. Mac for Mac OS. So your Mac OS is used different partition table. The total data storage space of PC hardware or hard disk here, no, sorry. HDD or this on which uh, MPL partition is implemented can contain at the most four primary partitions. Now you see the uh, limitation of MPL scheme at the most four primary partitions. For alternatively, three primary partitions and an extended partition. The partition table located in the master boot record contains 16 byte entries each which describe a partition. So each partition is described by a 16 byte entry in the boot record, the master boot record. So what is the master boot record? Let's continue. The partition type is uh, identified by a one byte code. So the partition type, just one byte code found in the partition table entry. Some of these code such as 0x, 05, 0x, 0f, these hex numbers with just learned during the lecture, may be used to indicate the presence of an extended partition. Most are used by an operating system, the bootloader that examines partition tables to decide if a partition contains a file system that can be mounted or accessed from reading or writing data. So the bootloader is a boot program used to boot your operating system. For example, uh, Grub, Grub is a bootloader for a Linux system. For Windows, they use an anti loader. Well, there's a primary partition and the extension partition. Let's check here. Partition type. You can right click open here. But you see the partition types. Here, you can see the partition types with the partition ID, occurrence, access, with the bootable type and so all this body by description. We will come back here later. We 
because we need to refer to this specification to analyze manually. Otherwise, how could we analyze uh, partitions? The primary partition contains one file system in DOS and all early versions of macro, macro uh, soft Windows system Microsoft requires required what is called the system partition to be the first partition. All Windows operating systems from Windows 95 onward can be located on almost any partition, but the boot files, here you see the anti-LDR, anti-loader, boot MGR, boot manager, IOCs, improper system driver most, must uh, reside, reside on a primary partition. However, other factors such as uh, a PC's BIOS, you can check what the BIOS means. Boot sequence on standard PC may also impose specific requirements as to which partition must contain primary OS. The partition type code for primary partition can either correspond to a file system contained within. Here, you can see this code. This only means uh, NTFS. Or uh, OS2 HVPFS file system, or, or indicate that the partition has a special use. For example, code 82 usually indicates a Linux swap partition, and FAT16, FAT32 file systems have made use of number of partition type codes due to the limits of various DOS and Windows uh, OS versions. Though a Linux operating system may recognize a number of different files, file systems, for example, ET2, 4, 3, 2, Razor, FS, and so on. They have all consistently used uh, the same partition type code, just uh, A3, in the native file system. So now we know, know the virtual partition tables. Here, come to the partition type. We have a partition type ID. In a partition's entry in the partition table inside the master boot record. So you can directly open what this uh, master boot record. It's a type of boot sector at the very beginning of partition a computer, mass storage device like a fixed disk remote drive internal for use with IBM PC compatible system and beyond. So you just the very beginning of the partition of computer. So for MBR, it also have another limitation. Here, maximum addressable storage space is uh, for partition disk limited to so many uh, terabytes, just two terabytes. Today's disk, you have more than two terabytes, right? So this MBR, cannot address more than two terabytes, we need GPT. This is uh, a GID partition table. The new scheme to handle disk with a, with a capacity more than two terabytes. Okay, here you can see uh, the sector layout, the boot sector, what's the content inside that boot, uh, uh, Sector, we will check, come back uh, later. Here you can see the uh, address and the value. Now we want to uh, check the types, for example, 00, zero uh, uh, current MPR. Let's see what this is. This means empty partition entry, if it's zero. Here's one is fat. Tail. If zero two is a Xenix, we want we are interested in the popular file system. For example, FAT sixteen zero four, FAT sixteen B zero six, NTFS zero seven, and our some other file systems, and our Linux, our Linux file system, the swap for this one. Maybe OS, we want to find Linux. 
Auto Linux Native Version 3. Today is Linux. Here you can also see some hidden partition. Right? This is code 74 hidden thread 16. So in some uh, jails, some criminals, they may create a hidden partitions to hide a partition and save secret in information in that hidden partition and you cannot see it in your normal operating system. Now uh, the Linux here, 82, Linux web space, and the Linux uh, extended uh, stuff, uh, 85, and so Linux uh, print text, partition table, kind of image, so you can check it, we can check it later. Now we have this partition table. We just have a table now, but uh, there's nothing inside this table. So how do we create uh, these partitions, four partitions? Four partitions, for MPL at most uh, four primary partition or three primary partition with one uh, extended partition. Let's uh, create, right click, you can new partitions, uh, create uh, the size. Now you see the primary partition or extended partition, right? There are two types. So let's uh, start from the, the size, how many do, do, do we want? Free space preceding, new size. So there's a, just 100 megabytes. And the file system, here you can see the file system. Let's, this MBR, MS dash, let's choose those file system supported by Windows NT, OS, FAT, FAT 16, FAT 32, let's just one FAT 16. And a label called FAT 16. Great, uh, add. Now you see we have a new partition number one, FAT. 16. Create another one. 100 megabytes. Oops. Uh, this time we create uh, FAT32. Again, is also a primary partition. And uh, it's uh, label FAT32. And here you can see how many left. Click add. Now you see we have two new partitions and unallocated here. Great new partition. Again, let's check uh, at 100. This time we want to uh, add an NTFS. Label NTFS. Okay, now uh, we still have almost 200 megabytes. So create new one. And this time we select the extended partition. And this extended partition, you see, we cannot choose a file system, just a label. Extended partition, you can contain many logic partitions. That, that's why here we didn't see a file system. Let's uh, create ext. X10 data, but extended. Okay, inside this uh, extended partition, it's just like a container or other logic partition. Here we have three primary partition, one extended partition. Inside this extended partition, we create uh, new partitions. Now you see the logic partition here, logic partition. Inside the logic partition, I would like to again create uh, FAT16, this time just to give it uh, 50 megabytes. And uh, we call it an EX FAT16. Now you see it's under this extended uh, partition. Create another one. Logic partition. Uh, give it a. Uh, now let's say how much uh, for that. If we give it uh, just for. 50 again. 
logic partition and uh, fire thread to quit ex fire thread to now we still have 97 in 97 we create a uh, Oh, 90, 96, 96, again give it a priority for NTFS. Actually, we would like to try Linux web and uh, Linux. Linux web. We create a EX web, EX Linux web. Now there may be some problem. The label may, may not be able to contain so many letters. Let's have a try. Okay, EX Linux web command here. Then we create a Linux ext4 file system. Use use up all the left uh, capacity and create uh, ex ext4. Okay, we have uh, all the partitions inside this uh, disk. Now we want to apply all operations. Click apply. Just wait uh, some time. You can also see the commands they used. You can see the details. You can check all this stuff by yourself. Here you see from offset and uh, other kind of stuff. The commands create a new fat set to fat system, you use this command, the command line. You can save the details here. Let's save it inside our lab tool, right? Here, save, oops. Image one, uh, partition information, Info dot HTM. Close it. Okay, now you see uh, something similar to that uh, Wikipedia. Right? You look look the. It looks like this. Now you can check that HTM. Open with Firefox. Unfortunately. It's saved as a root. We need to uh, check whether it can be read by a normal user. Okay, here is a detailed report. Device, motor, serial number, sector size, total number of sectors, and in CHS format. Uh, here you, you, you can see all the detailed operation. Uh, we can come back. Now we finish this task partition into four partitions. Then we unmount the image, explore the partition with the slow skid image file tools and volume uh, system tools. After that, we will explore with partitions, explore the partition with the WX uh, hex editor. Okay, we close this one. Then we unmount, actually unmount, uh, it uh, does not call unmount in low setup command, it called detach. How do we detach it? You check that, uh, so did I close the other one? Uh, no, here. You use that dash dash detach, followed by your loop device, DV loop six, here, how do you detach? Here, use this one. Low setup, dash dash detach, followed by your DV loop six. My, my image one is inside, is, um, is mounted on loop six. So we use, uh, now you see some problem, unrecognized the disk label. It's very like those uh, long, long labels. Actually, we can check here with uh, those uh, long labels. We control F, 
Um, I'm recognized, so it's not not sharp here. Anyway. Now we use a uh, sudo low setup dash dash detach detach. I think I make a typo. Detach dv loop six. Password. Oops. And recognize the option. This detach. Only a single T, I made a double T. Okay, it's uh, detached. Now our uh, image one combines the uh, partition table and uh, those uh, create those, those file system are also created. How do we use the slow skit command lines? Let's uh, find a slow skit. Oops, I didn't put slow skit here. Uh, I think I need to add it later. The slow skit. The slow skit is inside our lecture. Here, this is a subtask one or uh, task three. Among the image, you explore the partitions with through scale image file tools and the volume system tools. We can find them here. Module one. I create the quickest way. We just type through scale. Through scale command. Go inside this through scale with uh, wiki. Okay, you see the command list. Now let's go to his home page and see the sluice kit. Then inside here, you can see uh, the capabilities of this sluice kit. A summary of the tools contained in this sluice kit toolkit can be found on this tools overview. And it supports the following file systems. You can see quite a limit, right? In our department, you, you see much, much more than the file system list here. Here is the TSK tool overview. We want to practice with the, with the volume system tool, image file tool, disk tool, these three higher level tools. Here, the first uh, disk tool will go from bottom to up. To up. These tools can be used to detect and remove a host protected area in your ADA disk. So we don't have those stuff, so we don't need these uh, two disk tools. Disk tools. This host protected area could be used to hide data so that it would not be copied during uh, acquisition. These tools are currently Linux only. So that's why we chose Linux here. Uh, we can try a disk state. Disk state. You should be able to run this command if you succeeded in uh, lab one to install slow kit to our kids. You can see whether you have it. Use which disk. You press your tab key. Oops, disk uh, stat. The disk that is that looks like it's removed from the toolkit. Which uh, disk has reset? No, I don't have this. Now we check the image tools. Type IMG, press your tab key. Now we see we have image cat image state. And the image tool, image state tools show the details of the image format. And this cat. You just show the raw contents or image file, that's like a hex editor. So we use image state to show the details of our image one. 
No, you see it only show exact size and size in bytes. Right? Size in bytes, how many bytes it contains. And the image type is a raw image. We use DD command. Usually you require raw image with DD command. It's the image file information. And uh, if we apply it on image two, and see image two, it recognizes the same information. It, it does not show up those uh, partition tables and those other stuff. If we use image cat, how to use this command? We can try dash dash help. Here, how to use the image cat command. Image cat dash v dash i image tab dash b device sector size and start sector, stop sector, and so on. Here, for example, uh, image cat, we want to uh, we verbose output. And the image type is raw image, so we don't specify that image type. And the block size, uh, device sector size, by default it will be 512. So we don't specify the block size or the sector size. Now we start, the start sector is zero. And the stop sector is zero. And image one, we only want to show the first uh, sector. Oops, it, uh, start sector must be positive. But my start sector just chose uh, zero. It looks like this sector. Start sector, uh, choose one. Stop sector, choose one. Okay, now you see it, it, it does not start from index zero. So this is a little bit annoying. You, as we use LBA address, addressing the first sector is zero. But here you need to space one. Here you can see the contents. Error detection type of file image one, no such file, AFF open. It cannot uh, work directly. So this this uh this one does not work right. Well, maybe we need some extra parameters. Dash i image type is uh, raw, and uh, dash b is uh, file one two. We still get this stuff. Image one not fine. I have an image one here. It says uh, image one, not font. Okay, you, you see uh, this one is a little bit annoying. We cannot uh, get uh, any useful information. What we are interested in is this uh, volume system tool. Is a volume system tool. These tools take a disk or images as input and analyze its partition structure. This is what we want to learn today. And examples include DOS partition, BSD disk tables, and SAN volume table or contents and so on. These can be used to find hidden data between partitions and to identify the file system offset for the SUSKI tools, the media, the media management tools supports DOS partition, BSD, disk labels, and so on, micro partitions. How do we show the layout? We use this MMLS, show the details, MMM's state, and uh, how to extract the content of specific volume. We use this MMCAT, just like this uh, image cat show raw content. So the image cat, uh, let's try some other numbers. Still cannot get anything useful. It found the uh, image zero relative offset lens. Opening file into store zero. Actually we use a hex cat. Hex dump. 
we can see all its stuff. Dash C, image one, use uh, more to show screen by screen. Right? You can see the contents here, flat 16. This is not a bootable disk and so on. When we create the partition table, now you see the field with some information. At the beginning, there are all zeros. Let's see, flat, flat 32 NTFS. When I press uh, page done, oops, just pr press the, the space bar. There are so many stuff. Okay, I would like to quit. So this uh, use a hex dump, but uh, we didn't see the block boundary. So it's not easy for us to use this uh, hex dump. We will use a WX hex editor. Show us block by block. Now first we use these commands. First we use a mm ls to list image one. Now we have some uh, useful information. Dos partition table offset sector is zero. Units are in 512 bit sectors. And of the start sect, end sect, and the length. Here you see the primary table. This length is one sector. It saved this uh, table here, the primary table. The partition table saved here in the first uh, block. Then we have uh, uh, allocated a uh, space from this place to this place, you can see uh, almost all of them, actually all of them not allocated. We just have empty uh, partition table, right? We just create some empty partition table. Now you see the, each, the information of each partition. So we also see the partition ID as we, we built at the beginning of this uh, lab. These are the partition ID. Then you can check this one is the DOS FAT32 uh, NTFS. We have three primary partition. Now you can check if the start starts from where? Start from here, then end at this uh, at this block. Here, these are block address. Totally, we have uh, so many uh, blocks here. What's the total number of blocks? A total number of sectors. Total number of sectors. We use that uh, disk state or image state, right? We have image state to show this uh, image one. Size in byte. Now we want to know size in number of blocks. Here we didn't see the, the number of blocks. We divide this number by file 12. Then we will get the number of blocks. So we can use a, I call use a simple calculator, the batch calculator. File 2428, one, two, three. Divided by 512. So you see here is the total number of sectors we have. Now, this uh, DOS FAT16 is from this sector to this sector. And the total length, it has uh, so many sectors, two, zero, four, eight, zero, zero sectors. You can find how, how many bytes it has. I remember we allocated 100 megabytes, right? We can verify whether it's 100 megabytes. We use a uh, echo. Certainly you can use any calculator or your smartphone to do the calculation. Here I just want to show you. Totally this, this one, it contains so many uh, sectors. And each sector is a uh, 512. 
uh, bytes. Now you want to divide by kilobytes. One kilobyte is one zero to four bytes. Then you divide another one zero to four convert to megabytes. One zero to four. Let's see what this work. You get one hundred megabytes. So this is what we allocated. We allocate one hundred megabytes to this uh, first partition, the first primary uh, partition. The others you can also see one hundred megabytes, one hundred megabytes. Then for this extended partition, you see uh, this one I think is 50, 50 megabytes, right? You can see it's just half the second number of those previous primary uh, partitions. Here, I think it's a little bit more than uh, 50 megabytes. Here is uh, 50 megabytes. Here, uh, a, little more, a little bit more than 50 megabytes. And this is the Linux partition. Swap, Linux swap, 50 is also 50 megabytes. Oh, here you see where it start, where it end, and uh, how many sectors is contained. So in partition, in the disk partition, the unit is a sector. So start from which sector, end from uh, where end to which sector, and how many sectors it contains. So you can see uh, this slot, it show how many uh, partitions we, we have. Zero, one, two, these are the first uh, three primary partition. Then the extend, extension partition is here. The first the extension partition. Here we have another one, zero, zero, one, two, three, four, four. Now, how do we, uh, we just uh, use this MMLS to list out all the partitions. Now we can use the MM state to display details about a volume system, typically on the tab. So we use the MM state. Let's see how to use it. Here we specify the image type, sector size, image offset, and the image. Or we can use a uh, use this uh, slot number. Let's see whether we can use this uh, sl slot number. So we use a uh, mm state. If we use the uh, slot number, for example, the first one zero 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 colon zero zero zero. So zero 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 colon zero 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 to see whether it. Uh, so, so it, it does not work this way. Well, we need to provide the image, image one. It, it, it does not work this one. We need to uh, follow it this uh, uh, exactly. See, uh, show in sectors. For example, I want to show the first one, mm stat. Uh, the image type is raw. The block size is uh, 512. Now the offset, oh, offset, that's from zero. That we show details. Then it's followed by the image one. Let's see what we, we can get. Now we will see a lot of information show up here. We still have this AFF open, this is a problem, AFF open. So, and also we get some other in information output. Here's the extended stuff. Okay, we maybe we need to find out why we get a FF open error like this AFF open. It looks like maybe uh, we miss a AFF library. Let's see. Uh, we use apt search AFF or lib AFF. So we have a lib AFF. Let's install this one. It's already installed and automatically, so 
now we uh, we need to check its document to see whether this can be solved. Okay, now let's uh, use the MMCAT to extract uh, one partition. First, we check how to use it. MMCAT image type success offset image and a port number. Okay, we use MMCAT B512 by default. We don't need to specify this file. Let's use the simplest one. Dash O. We was uh, don't use it. Let's just uh, follow by our image one. We provide a port number. Port number zero zero zero. What we need to supply this stuff completely. Invite the image offset. So I still need to uh, supply a uh, offset dash o zero. If so, do I need this uh, image port number? Oops, I, I think I, my bad. I didn't su supply this. Uh, I don't think that is a parameter. Image or images, so how do we supply this stuff? Okay, let's have a look. So this is not the way. And we, we, we can go inside to see some examples. MM uh, state, right click, open it. MM cat, right click, open it to see some examples where we can find. Here for this uh, MM state, we didn't see uh, any examples. by the image. Okay, it looks like we don't have those tools to, we don't have detailed guide to follow. We have to uh, try error to figure out how to use it. Dash I raw. We even don't know uh, here supported a type of partition system, supported image type. Let's try that dash T list. So this is uh, a supported partition type. And the dash I list, these are the supported uh, image format. Law, so it looks like we need to specify the law. Otherwise, it it says AFF actually it's not AFF. Maybe those this is the reason we got those AFF error. So we still need to specify MM. Uh, let's see MM uh, state dash uh, image type law. Dash B five one two dash O offset. Let's start from the zeroth sector. That we show us a web output. Now this uh, V VS tab. VS tab is this uh, this one. Tab partition system. So we dash T dash T uh. The partition system we use is DOS. Then followed by the image one. Here it uh, says image one found. Now we will find the image, but and uh, one total segments found. Low open. Okay, this time uh, it looks uh, good, but uh, when we read through this stuff. We have start, we have size, 
the three primary, uh, here you see primary partition. This information is still not easy to read. And those are the other extensions here, right? These are the labels we, no, this is not the label we, we add. But we know these are extension partitions. Okay, if I want to uh, use a cat to output a partition, we use mm cat to output a partition. That should be, oh, that should help. mm cat dash i raw dash b file one two dash o from the First one dash v show details dash t dos. Now followed by image one. We want to cat which part? Dash b the size in both of device uh, sectors. Image offset. And the port number. So I don't, don't know how to uh, add this port number. The port number, let's choose a zero to have a look. Oh, and on this time of this cat, also show up some, uh, it extracted some information. Because we start from zero, we, we, we extract, actually the cat out all the stuff. Just as we use uh, that uh, mm state start from offset zero. Okay, maybe uh, that image state and image cat, we can also specify all those parameters to see what we can uh, get. In order to read through this stuff, uh, we let's, for example, this one, uh, image final file start sectors here, you can find a, Segment zero size, this is a total number of sectors, max offset, the value of the image, max offset is the same as this size, this is, uh, uh, I don't know what this max offset means. If it's uh, the index, it should be uh, this uh, size minus one, because we start from zero. And the dots load, Prime this tape sector start from zero, and you see this uh, it read so many uh, bytes off from zero. No, we we don't know this is a bad offset or sector offset. So this image of this information are quite unreadable. So it's better add a whether they are sectors or whether they are, they are by, by default they are sectors here. These are the port numbers. But when we want try to use port number like this, for example, uh, port number one, column zero. But if so, uh, offset, how do we specify our offset? The offset for that one zero, it starts from here. Here, uh, oops, one zero. That uh, one zero start from here. Now we, we see something a little bit confusing. This one primarily start from, from this, this place. 
Let's try this one. Which means we change the offset to that place. And uh, it's a uh, phone number zero one. Oops, this parameter is not used like this one. So with, without a detailed uh, manual, we don't know. Uh, professor, you're still muted if you're talking. Uh, professor, you muted. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, this, uh, because of my Zoom just uh, quit, so when I come back, I didn't notice the sound is muted. All right, thank you, Michael and uh, Jesse, thank you. Did, um, did Zoom crashing affect the recording for this lab at all? Uh, could you hear me? Yes, we hear you now. Okay, now uh, let's uh, continue uh, uh, our lab. Here, the through skit uh, image file tools and volume system tools. As we just uh, demonstrated, uh, please uh, check the uh, document to, to see whether we can find uh, detailed information how to uh, how to extract those partition and show more information last time when we lecture uh, this course those commands is runs smoothly but this time it looks like uh, the the updates uh, are not consistent with the uh, its past version so to simplify our, our lab, you only need to do uh, two tools. The image tool, you only, you only need to show, only use this uh, image state to show the details of the image format. Actually, they just show us three lines, not that information, right? So you just only need to show 
the image state followed by the uh, image. So I want to show this little bit of information. The second uh, here, there's an image tools for the volume system tools. So you only need to show uh, this uh, MMLS. So we don't need that state or cat. So you only need to show MMLS image one and show this stuff. And you, you need to know how to do this uh, calculation. The length is just the end the ma ma minus the start plus one because we know it is these are because the, both the start and end are included. So for example, this length, it equals this uh, end minus this start plus one, you will get this one. So know how to do the calculation. We can use this last one as an example. How do we uh, find the, the length? The length equals the end minus the start plus one. So we can use echo. You can use any calculator. I just use echo. So the end is this number. It's here. And the minus this start. Then you plus one. Uh, you you will see you get this uh, length the length, right? This number nine two one six one sixty. Okay, these are the requirements for these two tools. For the image tool, just use that uh, Im images state, and for this uh, volume system tools, just use MMLS, and uh, you need to know how to do the calculation from the start and find the length. Because they have this relationship, given any two, you will be able to find the, the third one. Okay, now we want to use this uh, WX hex editor to do, the, to do the manual analysis. And uh, we will do the manual analysis uh, on this uh, Wednesday. So this uh, lab is continued from Monday and Wednesday, which means we need two days to. And also you see the lecture and uh, the lab, they are mixed together. And this will be the common case in our future labs, which means the lab and uh, lecture, they are, they are mixed together. And uh, on Wednesday, we will, uh, finish the tasks that we left. So today we learned to use GPort to create partition table and use MMLSS, MMLS and, M, and uh, image state to show the information, especially mainly the partition table and how to do the calculation, how to convert from sectors to megabytes as we practiced. For example, the first uh, primary uh, partition is uh, 100 megabytes. How do you get it? You use the number of sectors here times the sector size, 500 terabytes, divided by 1024, one converted to kilobytes, divided by 1024 again, you get a megabytes. 